the differences I think that you'll see is I would not say, like, I train dogs. I do. It's not what I do all day. I think a lot of people think that's all I do is train dogs. I don't. I raise them. Like, that's the big difference. I don't have a facility that is dedicated to training and turning dogs in, out, in, out, in, out. I try to use social media, first off, to give information, second off, to give you the understanding that that's not what I do with just train dogs. Like, 50% of the stuff I probably, depends on what platform it is, but a lot of, the big percentage of the stuff that I put on social media isn't necessarily just dog training and stuff. It's what other things are going on. It's on purpose. It's to show people that I'm not just a dog trainer. It's not all we do. My hope is when you're here is let's find, let's push it to the point where it doesn't go well. And then I, I'm i pretty sure I can figure out what we'll have to do to make it go well. I don't know that we can do it in a short period of time, but I know we can show you what you need to do. And then the nice part about this one will be she can go in your hands and you can feel what it feels like to do it. We tried doing that a little bit last time too. Like that's why you guys handled Ellie, and Ellie was I don't know, a year and a half maybe at that point, and she was by no means finished. She made plenty of mistakes. She was a perfect student. She'll still do it this time. And the thing that'll be interesting is we'll really be able to show you this element of how important you are as the handler. People think we train dogs and then they're just like robotic and just operate as is. And I think some trainers try to sell the idea that they can program the robot for you and hand it off. I don't believe that. I think 50-50, us and the dog. And so I might be able to show you some things with Ellie because Ellie and I know each other pretty well. I might be able to show you some things that look pretty good that are you know, a little more challenging. And then I might put her in your hands and she will look really more what changed. That I the handler. So at that point, then I go, okay, now how do, I, how do I get you to understand how it should feel? How do I get you to get, because that's the feeling I want you to have and understand when you leave here, because that's the feeling it's going to be when you get there with your dog as well.